Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Sanjana. And if you're a planner lover or a stationery lover, then this is the perfect place. This is the perfect channel for you because I upload quite a few videos on these topics. Okay, I, uh, as you can see, something is a little bit different. I have a new desk setup. I hope you guys really like it. I spent a lot of time here and I filmed quite a few videos here. So I just wanted to uh, bring a little bit of warmth, bring a few elements of nature in to the space, into the videos. So I hope you guys really like it. Now coming to the main topic of this video, which is the 2024 planner lineup. So these are all of the planners that I'm going to be using in 2024. Now let's get started. I'm going to be showing you all of these planners and giving you guys a brief overview of what I'm going to be using it for. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, first off, we have my main planner, which is from Scribbling All Day. I've used their planners in the past, but for other purposes, I have liked it. Uh, this here planner specifically, I think it would be really nice. I actually picked the Inkpicket planner as my main planner, but uh, just based on the changes that they have made i don't think that's suitable for me and i also figured you know i've been using the planners for five years so why not change it up and see if there's any other planner that i like for uh this particular purpose okay what i mean by main planner a lot of you guys get confused so i'm gonna explain what i mean by that it is basically a planner wherein i will be setting my goals i'll be setting my intentions creating my vision board organizing my life uh, with like my chores my appointments my schedule my daily checklists all of these things that does not necessarily fit into a specific category or it's an amalgamation of different categories goes into this planner and the reason why i picked it is picked this one is because of the type of spreads that are there and also the weekly spread for me when it comes to my main planner the weekly spread is is the most important aspect because uh, that's where my planning style I feel like is a little bit unique wherein um, many planners wouldn't be suitable so I this particular planner this weekly spread is beautiful one because it is in horizontal layout two because it's very simple and nice there's not a lot of decorative elements I don't like that because I like to add in my own decorative elements let me show you the current week that we are in. This is how I usually like to set up my planners, my weekly planners. Um, I add a few decorative stickers. I add matching uh, functional stickers. So it just creates a nice vibe and ambience in my planner. You know, we use this on a daily basis. So uh, I wanna make it pretty, but on my terms and based on my taste. So I've used the Vintage Garden sticker book for this specific week. And if you didn't know, I do have a sticker shop. So go check it out. There are a lot of functional stickers, but recently I've added a lot of decorative stickers as well. From the upcoming week onwards, I will be setting uh, my weekly pages with you guys. So stay tuned for that. This week uh, was a little bit chaotic, so I just set it up on my own. And here I add my daily checklist, things that I get done on a day-to-day -day basis. In these box stickers, I add my priority list lists and something that I wanna make a note of. And also in these decorative boxes or designer boxes, I add um, a journal a little bit or any memory uh, that I want uh, it to stand out. So that's what I do in here. And um, there are a couple of monthly pages, which I really like calendar page for any date specific things. And then in this overview page is where I get into the nitty gritty of things like my priorities for the month, my goals for the month and you know, fun things like what I wanna watch, what I wanna read. So I really liked the way this planner is set up. And also there are uh, quite a few yearly pages which will not only give me the space to set my goals, create my action plan and all of these things, but also uh, there are a few journaling spreads which I think will give me a great clarity on what goals do I want to work on and how do I want to plan my year. So I absolutely love this planner for that reason and I do think it's going to work really well for me um, for 
planning my overall life and look there is a monthly reflections uh, there are some nice monthly activities as well and you've got a huge journaling prompt list so in case you want to use this as your personal journal that'll be great because you can pick a prompt from here and then go to your weekly pages and then journal in here so you're good okay this is my main planner now let's get to the second one which is my personal journal and this is from dreamy moons oh my god i have fallen in love with this just the way it looks uh, it's just so beautiful and i feel like it's so precious and i'm using this as my personal journal because of mainly the way it is set up uh, you know weeks are like this there are a lot of prompts uh, the whole planner is lined this way apart from your monthly calendar page let me show you yep here you go this is the monthly calendar page apart from this everything else is lined i actually bought this planner to use it as my main one because uh you know again in this as well this monthly overview uh monthly reflections weekly overview weekly reflections. so it's a nice well-rounded planner but because it is uh, so focused in on this journaling format by the way they created this planner for journaling purposes itself so it's not like uh, they created a planner and we're not able to using use it for planning it's not that created it for journaling purposes I figured I could use it as my planner but there are no notes pages um, which I need and I need a lot of these kind of goal setting pages that you saw in scribbling all day so i thought this is best to use it as my personal journal because it's just set up it's just set up in the right way and there's a lot of stuff related to astrology full moon new moon which i do i used to do it in separate notebooks or in my main planner uh, but this is so well set up in here that uh, I don't really need to create my own spreads for these and there's a lot of value that they have given for these uh, events like m beginning of the month or new moon time or full moon time so I really really like that and yeah that is why I'm going to be using it for my um, daily journaling and by daily journaling what I mean is um, every day at the end of the day I just write a little bit about that particular day and some of the thoughts that are going on in my mind at that point in time so i feel it's just a nice activity a nice habit for you to develop i have become way more intentional ever since i started doing daily journaling and it really allows me to uh, just not blindly go through life but be very mindful be very intentional about all of the things that are uh, going on and just slow down a little bit you know so yeah i'm gonna be using this as my personal journal previously for my personal journaling i have used bindya samir planner they have worked really well this year they made a lot of changes so i didn't pick that up uh, and then i've also used a scribbling all day one so yeah this year changing it up again for my personal journal um, I'm gonna be using the streamy moons up here. Okay. Now, next one, this is my wellness log. Uh, I don't, I'm not calling it as a planner because I don't really plan anything in this. This is where I usually log stuff down. I uh, write it after the fact that it has happened. That's why I call it a log and not a plan. Planner is the stuff that you, you know, you, you use it for planning so you write stuff down before you have done it a log is where you write after you have done it okay now uh, for my wellness log i will be using the alicia souza planner i have used their planners in the past and they're one of the cutest planners that are available in india and i really like it because one it is very cute two um it the quality is really really nice so that's why i picked this last year i had used messy corner uh, that was nice but it was just a bit too minimalistic for the purpose of wellness logging this uh, when it comes to wellness you know whether it's physical wellness or mental wellness these can get a little bit tricky a little bit serious so um having these kind of cute illustrations it just adds um 
it's just adds a nice element to the activity that i do for my wellness and here uh, my main thing that i do is i log my meals for that particular day so anything that i have eaten uh, meals snacks any drinks all of those things i add it in here and the reason why i do that i think i can go into detail in another video but basically the reason that i do it is just to be a little bit more mindful about uh what i'm consuming uh, so yeah and along with that i want to add um the activities that i do this month i'm doing the 30 day yoga challenge so here i'll add all of those yoga practices names on the days that i have done it i can check it off and then uh in the habit tracker i've not yet set it up but i do want to i want to add all of my wellness habits like the meds i take whether i'm doing meditation or not um and what else i think i wanted to track some nature time as well because uh, nature time means just going out and spending some time in nature and i think it'll help both mental health as well as physical health so all of those kind of things i'm gonna add it here and then meal planning i don't think i'll be using it at least in january let's see in the future if i want to use it uh here i am currently tracking my sleep hours and uh any exercise that i did on that particular day mood i'm not tracking uh because in the dreamy moons planner uh or journal there is a space to add your mood so i'm adding it here and i just don't want to repeat it again in this uh log like wellness log so yeah it's a very a simple one and also i made made like a snapshot of let me show you here you can see uh, like it hardly takes me five minutes a day and five minutes is a full exaggeration it doesn't even take me a minute guys to fill all of that up so i don't spend a lot of my time uh it's just something little that i do on a day-to-day -day basis which helps me so much uh in my overall life and well-being so yeah, this is my wellness log i've also added a cute like purple a uh, pen in here you can see i showed you guys right the daily logging that i have done it looks so cute with all of the illustrations here so yeah, this is just a fun little thing that, that is super valuable uh, for me in my life let me know if you want me to uh, talk about this in a little more detail and i can make a separate video all right so these are the three planners that i really like using and then i picked the still classic one uh you guys saw a review about this i picked it up for my work planning but i'm getting really really confused whether to use it for my work or for my content uh yeah basically the work that i do here like youtube and uh, stickers like planning the launches and all of those things i'm super confused about it because uh, i don't know like something tells me like not to use it for work uh, i feel like i need to use this for something else i'm just keeping it on hold for now let's see how it goes but this is a planner that i really like and i'm excited to try because um you know it's a ring bound planner it's a new brand a new system and a new layout and stuff so let's see let's see how this goes i'll i will give you guys an update on what i do with um this planner if i'll if i'm using it for my youtube stuff what i'm thinking of doing is in the monthly page i can add my schedule like the video schedule for my youtube or instagram instagram is something that i always neglect so i thought keeping a separate planner for this will really help um focus a little bit more on instagram and get better at it and also be consistent with youtube and with my stickers as well so far what i'm doing is launching them and sharing it with you guys but i don't really do a lot of marketing which i do need to do and also i have a few people uh that i work with for stickers uh that manage the day-to-day -day operations and stuff and currently there's a lot of stress on my end with the way i'm managing 
the process and the projects that we are working on so having a planner i think will just help me streamline a lot of things and uh, eliminate quite a bit of stress so let's see i think the more i talk about it the more i feel like okay this was gonna be good for um my youtube and sticker stuff okay so uh, yeah well, the reason why i'm changing it from work i've still not changed it but i'm thinking of changing it is because currently i'm using a notebook for my work and also digital planning and that's working quite well so i'm just thinking mm, do i need to change that or uh not so yeah that's why i'm in a bit of a doubt the next planner that I have here is for my finances, which is from Happy Planner. And I have been uh, planning my finances, like creating a budget, tracking my expenses, all of those things. I have tried to do it in different uh, like previous planners that I have used. Um, I have been doing digitally for, I think, over two years now. I. I don't see any issue with that but I just find it really really boring and I thought if I use a planner for it because you know planners are fun if I use it uh, it's just gonna bring in some excitement you know with Alicia Sosa how this little things um, it, it's just changed my relationship with food so I'm thinking this planner might help do that for finances as well um, yeah that's why I picked it I think it I'm just gonna give it a try i don't exactly know uh whether this is gonna work for me or not i do have a positive feeling because i've been consistently budgeting for a few years now so i know my system i know what works for me what doesn't and when i saw this layout the way this planner is set up i'm not sure in january because i've already set my finances there and i don't want to uh like just for my privacy i don't want to share it online that's why i'm showing you a random month so the way the planner is set up is you have this uh page wherein you document any unexpected spends or any notes you want to make and then you have a monthly cover page with nice quotes uh, so yeah it's just a little nice motivation and then you have a monthly calendar page i'm thinking here i can add all of my uh, bills and you know when is my rent due when is my phone bill due uh, if there are any automatic payments uh, just making a note of that so that i just keep a check on my bank account and make sure there are no fraudulent charges those kind of things like date specific stuff i want to add it here and then you have this budgeting spread they have divided into different categories i personally liked to have my own categories that's the reason i wasn't using any budget planner before i used to create my own one on excel but after looking at like after going through all of the categories that they have added the expenses that i have fits into these categories so it works perfectly uh, i think it's very like a, a holistic list that they have given here i don't think you'll really have anything else outside these headers you know housing utilities transportation medical food personal entertainment and another section as well and there are plenty of lines so this is pretty good i like that and here up at the top you have an overview of your income and also a snapshot like oh, what's the income how much did you expense like what were you your expenses and then how much is remaining here at the right side you have your savings tracker and your debt tracker I'm just really trying to figure out how exactly to use this. I'll uh, probably give you guys an update after a couple of months. And then every month you have a little nice challenge uh, that'll help you save a little bit of money. I don't know whether I'm gonna be doing that or not, but this entire setup, I really like it. And then another thing that I love is um, the weekly expense tracker. I absolutely love this you have for each week you have a tracker set up and this is dated so you have the exact number of spreads that you need sometimes in undated stuff i think uh there's not a lot of enough spreads so i like that this is dated i can weekly once i can go through my bank statement i can make a note of what all expenses i've had how much is amount i don't think i'll be using this for need or want i think i'll be 
uh, using it for whether it is a credit or debit or uh, things like that and then you have a mini reflection too so i again i don't know whether i'm going to be using this or not but just the uh, financial aspect of this planner i really like like the spread and these expense trackers and then each month you also have uh like some notes pages i don't know if i'm going to be using it or not but there are notes pages uh, which is good in case you want to so it's a pretty straightforward uh, planner and i'm excited to see like how it's gonna end up working and then at the beginning here you have this future log section too i'm thinking i'm gonna use this for any um expenses that do not have a set schedule for example toothpaste i just want to i want to do this because i want to see how often do I buy these things so that uh, for the upcoming year I can budget for these things uh, in a better way? So do I use the toothpaste like quarterly ones and how much do I spend on it? How much do I spend on skincare? Um, how much do I like how often do I get rice? These are the things that I don't buy. They're not part of my weekly grocery shopping like oil uh salt it'll i feel like it'll just get give me a better understanding of uh how often do i spend on these things and how many months would a 10 kg rice pack come for and all that so yeah just to help me with my finances uh in the future um, yeah i will be using this and here again uh similarly to alicia's planner i just did a quick overview of what i'm going to be using it for and how long things might take for example setting up a budget will take a maximum of 30 minutes a weekly check-in probably 15 minutes and monthly review might take 15 minutes as well so i've just did this so that i have a good idea of how much time do i spend on these things and to see whether it's actually worth it or not i am excited about this year's planner lineup because there's just so much variety in terms of brands i think uh, over the last few years i've been using uh, the same brands and planners like different planners from the same brand so if you can see here all of these are from different different brands this one's from dreamy moons alicia soza scribbling all day still classics happy planner they are from different countries these two are from india this is from australia this is from canada and this is from us uh, they have a different aesthetic to it you can see here and there's different binding like hard bound uh, viral bound ring bound disc bound and then um, also the way the spreads are set up the way i will be using the planning uh, style and approach that i take would be different too so i'm really excited about the variety and so many of these planners i think apart from alicia souza and uh, i don't want to say scribbling all day because scribbling all day for my main planner this would be the first year so apart from alicia souza all of the other planners are new to me so i'm super super excited to see how it goes a part of it is i um i really look forward to using my planners because they're all new to me and and yeah stay tuned stay tuned for videos on these planners let's see how this year goes and let me know what your planner planner lineup is in the comment section i'd really love to know what are the different planners you'll be using it for and if you're a multiple planner user or you feel like this is all just too much and you just want to stick with one i'd be interested to know about it awesome so yeah that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching and um next video i think will be my weekly plan with me i guess so yeah stay tuned for that subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and yeah guys thank you so much and i'll see you in my next one bye